Right now, just uh, football and band. How did you get into band? Have you always wanted to yeah. play in there? Just been doing it since uh, middle school, and I really liked it. I like drum. I've been drumming since I was two. I like drumming, and so I just became moving up. Nice. Now tell me, uh, what middle school did you go to? Uh, I went to Dickinson, then I went to Jackson. And tell me a little bit. Um, just kind of, kind of talk me through your journey here at Riley High School. Kind of, you know, starting freshman year, kind of up until you are right now. Kind of. Freshman year, came here. You know, was on a like a little rough path, but I had mentors and people to help me out, to kind of get guide me on like my right path and get get more, you know, involved with stuff and activities. And I, I really liked it. I feel like. It's home. They make me feel very welcome. Oh, I'm going to Sorry. I'll say, where'd that music come from? I was like, <laughs> um, so, you know, freshman year, kind of tell me if you mind, you know, if you don't mind going into detail a little bit of what you kind of mean just by, you know, a rough path, kind of. I know you talked uh -huh. about you had kind of got put up for expulsion just a little bit. Yeah, I was uh, just like, Hanging with the wrong crowd and not like, not being a leader as I am. I was just you know being more of a follower or like not follower. I was just trying to fit in. And you know, I as a, as young as I was, young and dumb. But I just you know had to look at myself and like tell myself like I'm more of a leader than a follower and uh, I'm. Trying to go down the right path so I can succeed and graduate, get up out of here. Nice. Tell me about that mentorship that you kind of, you said that you got a little bit to kind of help um, you get on that right path. Um, I just had like some of the teachers, they were like, they open hearted. I love that. Like, I communicate, they, they talk to me, we talk one on one, then they're like, they, they're to help me to succeed. And so are the, some of the security guards. Mr. Henderson himself, Will Glee, Mr. Lee, everybody here, they know my potential, and I know my potential, and I'm really happy for them. Nice. I know you, um, which you don't have to go into detail, just kind of tell me else, what else kind of happened to you throughout that path, um, if you're willing to share with oh, me. Oh, uh, um, at all. All right, uh, kind of got, uh, I got shot in my chest, you know, and that was a eye opener. The, to me, it was like God was telling me, like, I got a second chance at life, so it's like make it count. And I was I was grateful enough, and I just had to make it count and on to succeed better in life. Nice. Now, um, if we want to share, just kind of maybe what month or what year that happened in your that happened sophomore year? Uh, that was my sophomore year. Your sophomore year? Yeah. And kind of, you know, that transition process, you know, had you always wanted to play football and things? And kind of tell me how that felt to, you know, to be able to get back on the field, get back in the band a little bit. Talk to me about that a little bit. Uh, I feel like band and football, I, I stopped doing football after eighth grade year. But mo mostly, like, band is, like, band has always been a thing to me. I, it's, like, it's, it's a big thing to me. I love it. And it's like, it's different. I, I don't know. I just love the talent and the people that's in there. And football, I like football. I like football. It was fun. And I just feel like when I was going to the games, I was mi I was missing, like, I miss hitting and I miss, like, being on the field. So I was like, I most definitely got to get back out there, get right, get my mind right, and get back on the field. Nice. Now looking back, kind of just – on your journey, kind of if you could tell yourself something, tell yourself when you stepped in those doors at Riley, you know, your freshman year, and could tell yourself something different, kind of what would what would you tell yourself? I would tell myself, just be you and just like, be successful and be even more ahead of yourself. You know, like, less doubt on yourself and more like trying to upcome yourself, pretty much. And if you see, you know, someone else, maybe someone younger, a freshman, you know, kind of stepping in that path that you've seen yourself going down a little bit, what would you tell them a little bit? 
take your we'll definitely take your freshman year really serious and like let's try less playing around and like trying to fit in the right wrong crowd and try to like just succeed and pass and get you know be I want you to succeed in life and going forward either when you graduate get up out of here. And I know you Fridays are probably hectic for you. You got to play football and you got to play in the band. Kind of what's that transition like when you're out there on the field a little bit? Um, right now, f marching band is over, so uh, just football. But at first, it was I liked it. It was pretty fun. It wasn't. It was pretty fun. It, it felt. It was different having the transition, but it was more fun. I, I loved it. I got. The, I liked mostly that I got the chance to do both at once. I got the chance to do both and. I'm thankful for both of them for letting me do that. Right. Tell me where you see yourself after graduation when you, when your plans are. What do you what do you hope for? I want to go to college. I I want to be one of my mom's kids to go to college. So I, that's the plan. I'm trying to succeed in music. That's I really want to. Right. So you know what you want to major in? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. In college, like I was thinking. Um, Football marching band, like I, I want to take that seriously. So, probably that. Anything that you want to study? No, I haven't found my interest yet, but probably it will come up so soon. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to the WSBT22 YouTube channel.